what I think makes Safe Haven um, interesting and credible is that we have experts from the FBI, we have experts from Purdue University, from Princeton. I mean, we have a lot of different people at these very high levels of intellectual capacity talking about statistics and science to make this point about gun-free zones and the response time for police. And I think that a lot of people don't necessarily understand that concept in terms of science and the real hard numbers. And I think that we do a really good job of presenting that in the film. Gun control and gun-free zones are not a one-size-fits-all policy that can come from Washington, D.C. They come from local school districts. Local superintendents have to make these decisions about what they're going to do. Local businesses have to come up with their own security plan about what fits their plan of security best. And so I think that people can take the information that we're planning to present to them and then go make a difference at a very local level. We should be seeing this coming out in the first half of 2015, so hopefully by the summertime. Um, and like we talked about today, we're going to try to make it as easy as possible to distribute on the, you know, the websites, social media, DVDs if people want those, um, mm -hmm. take them to your PTA meetings, take them to your church council <laughs> meetings, just, you know, one at a time. You know, you, you can do these things in a big way, but when it comes down to it, you need a grassroots effort of you telling your neighbor who maybe might not have an opinion, and then, you, you know, they watch it and go, oh, you know, now I understand this, I'm going to tell this other person that I know, and I think that's a really effective way to kind of change some people's minds and ultimately change policies to help save lives.